Okay, so good evening to everyone. So welcome to our continuous uh, mentoring se seminar, our mentoring training. So how is everybody doing? So I hope everybody is, uh, everything is working well with you. Okay, so we encourage everyone to continually attend this uh, mentoring training. So the very objective of this is to help everyone be encouraged and really help everyone uh, uh, develop this momentum in their business. Okay, so tonight we're going to study about all men want to excel, but few are willing to pay the price. You see, when, when, when there is an opportunity, everybody gets so excited. Okay? Everybody gets so pumped up. But when the reality of hard work hits them, then you see things, nagugulat kayo, no, why people are slowing down, people become busy, people are moving in, di in different direction. So that's the reality, you know, that's the reality of our business. Especially right now, what we are here in a 90-day game plan. So this is where we, this is where we separate the boys from the men. Now we want to determine who, who is really the one, who is for real, who really wants to excel in this business. In 1 Corinthians 9.24, it says, Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. If you are going to analyze carefully this verse, when you want to achieve your goal, it requires speed. Can you say speed? You don't just, hindi pa pwedeng naglalakad lang. Hindi pa pwedeng nakatanaw sa kalawakan or you are doing it slowly. You know, everything about achieving goal is a run. It requires speed. You work for it. You run for it. That's the reason behind we have this 90-day challenge. There's a time frame that you will do whatever it takes to move heaven and earth to accomplish great things in the next 90 days. So make sure that when you want to achieve goals, you are very serious in it. Like may mga diamond builders tayo na gustong magrana sa sakyan, you see, in 90-day period, it can be done. You have to believe it. Okay? That's how, that's how a runner, that's how a person runs in a race. Kung may kita nyo na dun sa mga sa mga competition ano there's such thing as 100 meter dash there is a 5 kilometer run but no matter what's the distance is whether it's 100 meter or a 5 kilometer you see everybody runs everybody runs to the finish line so in new living translation it says don't you realize that in a in a race everyone runs so it doesn't says here that in a 90-day challenge, you walk. It doesn't says here that in a 90-day challenge, you analyze. It doesn't says that in a 90-day challenge, you do it slowly. You know, you have to keep running because only those who run gets the prize. So you have to run to win. In verse 25, it says, all athletes are disciplined in their training. The reason behind they're so disciplined they do a strict training because they do it to win a prize. That will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. That's why in verse 26 says, I run with a purpose in every step. And I'm not just a shadow boxing. So that's why your, your, uh, your purpose, your why, the reason behind you are doing it, that will help you and that will motivate you to keep on running to your goal then running requires sacrifice this principle is stands true in any area of life whether diet or stronger relationship with god or you're running after your finances intimacy with your family so whatever you're going through in your personal life in your career in your business in your family so it says here i have discovered that life does not usually give us what we want. Life usually gives to us what we deserve. Or perhaps I can state in this way, 
life give us what we work for, not what we think we should have. So meaning, whatever you are running, if you keep on running, you are going to get it. Okay? So whatever, whatever you are determined to do, you always have this attitude of whatever it takes. No matter how difficult it is, kahit na mahirap, kahit na maraming struggle, kahit na maraming opposition, maraming obstacle, the most important thing is you will do everything to, to hit your goal. So you keep running. Proverbs 6, 6 to 11 says, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Masakit ito, no? parang sinasabi, ano, gayahin daw natin yung mga, balang, mga langgam. Mas ano nga ito, masakit ito pag tinagalog eh. Nakalagay, pumunta ka sa mga langgam, ikaw na tatamad-tamad, ikaw na tutulog-tulog. Grabe, no? Ang hirap pala tagalogin, ano? Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Which having no captain, overseer, or ruler provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food on the harvest. So nakakita na ba kayo ng langgam? Di ba yung mga langgam, parang they just keep on working until rainy days. Hanggat hindi pa umuulan, they keep on storing and storing food. They never stop. They keep on running. So you have to understand, if you want to accomplish your goal, we have to, uh, kailangan natin gayahin itong mga langgam na to, no? in order for us to become successful. Sometimes there will be sleepless night. Sometimes you ha there will be a lot of sacrifices along the way in order for you to achieve your goal. The most important thing is, are you really willing to achieve your goal? In the next 90 days, do you really see that everything, every goal that you have set will happen? Do you believe on that? So if you believe on that, there's only one attitude that you are going to do in the next 90 days. What is that? Keep running. Can you tell it to yourself? Keep running. Again, can you tell it to yourself? Keep running. Excellence does not just happen by chance. You have to passionately and diligently pursue it. Excellence comes with a price tag. What is the price tag? You put you can you can even put it literally to your shirt or to your in front of you and says keep running to achieve your goal, whatever it takes. But I guarantee it is cheaper than compromise. Compromise costs your life, whereas excellence asks from you to give one hundred percent every day. Are you really committed to doing 100% in achieving your goal? Like, if you really want to have that brand new car in the next 90 days, are you really giving your 100% to it? Or your mentality is, sige, kumahit ko, mahit. Kung hindi, hindi. <laughs> you see? But if you are a person that you are a whatever it takes person, Hindi ka papayag na hindi mo mahit ang goal mo. Okay? Last day on earth, you need to learn sacrifice and obtain the price. Number one, by paying any price to change. And number two, by paying the price to excel in every area of your life. You'll never be the same once you make the dedicated decision to pursue excellence in every area of your life. And when you pursue excellence, that's because of the vision that you have God placed in your heart. Why don't people achieve excellence? The biggest reason for that is the lack of vision or the limited vision. We need to dream beyond what is impossible or what is possible. Everything that we see today was a dream before that can become a reality. You need to live with enthusiasm with sense of direction and sense of purpose. The question is, do you really have a dream in your life? Because you will never achieve great things if you don't have great dreams. You keep on dreaming. And what is that dream that you have in your life? Every day that you live, are you getting closer to your purpose? Get your advice from successful people and not from a living failures who will tell you how to succeed. You see, it says that in the Bible, in Proverbs, says that many a person with many advisors succeed. 
That's the reason behind we do a lot of mentoring. Because we believe that through mentoring, we will be able to guide you. We will be able to help you achieve your goals in life. So vision means where the vision is one year, you cultivate flowers. Where the vision is 10 years, you cultivate trees. Where the vision is eternity, you cultivate people. That's, that's probably the reason behind we need a lot of mentoring because people, people really need a lot of push okay, from their advisor, from their mentor. Yeah, sabi nga, everybody needs a coach. Kahit anong, for example, in a basketball, kahit anong galing ng player, pag walang coach, walang mentor na nag-motivate or nag-push, then you will not be able, you will not be able to, to really maximize the potential within you. Okay? And this is the main reason why we mentor you night after night after night. Because primarily, we want to help you achieve your goal. Okay? Oriental say saying, remember, winners, winners don't do different things. They just do things differently. Okay? Like, have you ever heard the story of David and Goliath? There was a giant who was bullying and harassing the children in the village. One day, a 17-year-old shepherd boy came to visit his brother and asked, Why don't you stand up and fight the giant? The brothers were terrified and they replied, don't you see that, that he is too big to hit? But look at the perspective of David. No, he is not too big to hit. He is too big to miss. Alam niyo yung mga iba pag sinabihan mo sila na, o oh, mag-run ka ng sasakyan. Ha? Huh? Kaya ko ba yan? <laughs> Di ba? Ganun agad yung mentality. Kakayanin ko ba siya? You see, it's either you are a David, okay? That's, uh, it's either you are a David who says that he is too big to miss. Your girl is too big to miss. Or you will be, you will, you will you be like his brothers, that the goal is too big to hit. It's your perspective. It's your perspective that will lead you to your success. The rest is history. We all know what happened. David killed the giant with a sling. Same giant, different perception. That's the reason behind why is it that, a lot, that some people are successful and some people are not. It's their perspective about success. How do you see your goal? Do you see a goal that is too big to hit? Or do you see a goal that is too big to miss? It's up to you. Our attitude determines how we look at a setback. To a positive thinker, it can be a pass, it can be a stepping stone to success. To a negative thinker, it can be a stumbling block. Great organizations are not measured by wages and working condition. They are measured by feelings, attitudes, and relationship. When people says, I can do it, there are two possible meanings. Diba yung mga tao pag sinabi nila, I can do it. Are they saying they don't know how to or they don't want to? If they don't know how to, that is a training issue. If they are saying they don't want to, it may be an attitude issue or it may be a value issue. They believe they should not do it. So it's really how you, how you weigh things. Ano? Kasi iba-iba tayo ng perspective about our goal. So it's all about your determination your uh, whatever it takes attitude that will lead you to achieve your goal so keep running education does not mean good judgment there's something strange happened the sun asked dad are you not aware of the great recession that is coming our way the father replied uh, no but tell me about it the son said the international situation is terrible the domestic is even worse and we should be prepared for the coming bad times. The man thought that since his son has been to college, read the papers, and listen to the radio, he ought to know and his advice should not be taken lightly. So the next day, the father cut down his order for the meat and the buns, took down the sign, and was no longer enthusiastic. Very soon, fewer and fewer were, uh, people bothered to stop at his hot dog stand, and his sales started coming down rapidly. The father said to his son, Son, you were right. We are in the middle of recession. 
I'm glad you warned me ahead of time. Imagine, yung tatay wala naman siyang kaalam-alam sa crisis. Even nasa gitna ng crisis, ang taas-taas ng kanyang sale dun sa hot dog stand. Then suddenly, yung kanyang educated na anak, biglang sinabi yung details. Then suddenly, yun ang pinaniwalaan niya. So you see, that's why our first, kaya nga minsan, mas maganda pa, iwasan natin yung mga news sa Facebook. To be honest with you, Facebook is equal to fake news. Sabi nila, papalitan daw ang ano, eh, pangalan ng Facebook. Baka sasabihin, gagawin nila nga ano yun, fake book. Okay? Gawin na lang nilang fake book. That's why, you see, the fastest way to get discouraged, read newspaper, listen to the news, and browse your Facebook. You want to get discouraged? Then do the three things. I promise you, you will end up discouraged. Mas mabuti pang araw yung wala kang alam and you just keep fighting for your goals. So what is the moral story of that? Many times we confuse intelligence with good judgment. A person may have high intelligence but poor judgment. Choose your advisor carefully and use your judgment. A person can and will be successful with or without formal education. Basta meron sila nitong five C's. Ano yung five C's? Character, commitment, conviction, courtesy, and courage. And number five, the tragedy is that, that the many are walking. They are not really running for their goal. A lot of people are struggling to hit their goals. Trials in life can be tragedies or triumph, depending on how we handle them. Trials don't come without effort. A biology teacher was teaching his students how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Sabi niya sa mga sudyante niya, in the next couple of hours, the butterfly would struggle to come out of the cocoon. But no one should help the butterfly. So, tas umalis na yung teacher. The students were waiting and it had butterfly struggle to get out of the cocoon. And one of the students, na awa siya dun sa butterfly, and decided to help to help the butterfly out of the cocoon against the advice of his teacher. He broke the cocoon to help the butterfly, so it didn't have to struggle anymore. But shortly afterwards, the butterfly died. So nung bumalik yung teacher, he was told what what happened. He explained to his student that by helping the butterfly. He had actually killed it because it is a law of nature that the struggle to come out of the cocoon actually his, helps develop and strengthen his wings. The boy had deprived the butterfly of his struggle and the butterfly died. You know, some struggle following a system because we may not understand it. We are looking for shortcut. We are, we are looking for a quick fix. But if you have the system, then at the end you would understand that we will become successful. So nothing worth while in life comes without a struggle. You got to understand struggle is part of success. It's part of running. As parents, we tend to hurt the ones we love most because we don't allow them to struggle to gain strength. Okay, are you learning? So which category do you fall into? Are you winners or are you loser? Winners are like thermostat, while losers are like thermometers. Winners choose what they say, losers just say what they choose. Winners use hard argument but soft words. Losers use soft arguments but hard words. Winners can fear bal on values but compromise on petty things. Losers can firm on petty things but compromise on values. Winners follow the philosophy of empathy. Don't do to others what you would not want them to do to you. Losers follow the philosophy. Do it to others before they do it to you. Winners make it happen. Losers let it happen. Winners plan and prepare to win, and the key word there is preparation. When a winner makes mistake, he says, I was wrong. When a loser makes, makes mistake, he says, it was not my fault. A winner makes commitment, a loser makes promises. Winners have dreams, losers have schemes. 
Winner says I must do something. Losers says something must be done. Winners are part of the team. Losers are apart from the team. Winners see the game. Losers see the pain. Winners see the possibilities. Losers see the problems. Winners believe in a win-win. Losers believe for them to win, someone had to lose. Winners see the potentials. Losers always see the past. So it's a question of are you, you are on the winning side or you are on the losing side? Now, run, re, running a business or running through your goals is not that easy. You have to overcome a lot of obstacles. People who have obstacles, okay, people who have overcome obstacles are more secure than those who have never faced them. We all have problems, isn't it? Meron ba taong walang problema? And we feel discouraged sometimes. It's, it's, a, it's actually normal. It's normal that you will, you will uh, feel discouraged, you will feel bad about situation. Welcome to life. Welcome to human race. That's part of running. We get tired. When you get tired, you rest a little bit and you keep running again. When you are, when you are discouraged, you uh, pose a little bit, then you keep running again. Most people get disappointed, but winners don't get disheartened. And the answer is perseverance. An English proverb says, a um, smooth sea never made a skillful mariner. Everything is difficult before it becomes easy. Did you hear that? Everything is difficult before it becomes easy. We cannot run away from our problems. Only losers quit and give up. Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Okay? So how do we measure success? True success is measured by the feeling of knowing you have done a job well and have achieved your objective. Success is not measured by our position in life, but by the obstacle we have overcome or we have overcome to get there. Success in life is not determined by how we are doing compared with others, but by how we are doing compared with what we are capable of doing. Successful people compete against themselves. They're better their own record, keep improving constantly. Success is not measured by how high we go up in life, but by how many times we bounce back when we fall down. It's the bounce back ability that determines success. Every setback is always a setup for a great bounce back. Every success story is also a, a story of great failure. Did you know that? Every success story is always a story of a great failure. Failure is the highway to success. Tom Watson Sr. said, if you want to succeed, double your failure rate. If you study history, you will find that all stories of success are also stories of great failures. But people who don't see failures, they only see one side of the picture. And they say that person got lucky. He must be at the right place at the right time. Okay? So, ganun palagi, naririg natin, ano, pag naging successful, sinwerte lang yan. Or baka naman uh, para sa kanya lang talaga yan. Diba? So, ganun talaga ang perspective ng mga tao. Okay? So, there was a man who failed on business at the age of 21. So, we, we have discussed this last week. We, na, natalo siya sa legislative race at age 22. Failed again in business at age 24 overcame the death of his sweetheart at age of 26, have a nervous breakdown at age of 27, lost a congressional race at age 34, lost a senatorial race at age of 45, failed in an effort to become vice president at age 47, lost again in a senatorial race at age 49, and was elected president of the United States of America at the age of 52. This man was called Abraham Lincoln. Would you call him a failure? Ano masasabi nyo kay Abraham Lincoln? Failure ba siya? Because at one point of 
of his life, he could have quit. Imagine, one years old pa lang siya nung siya ay magsimulang mag-tail. At nakuha niya lang yung goal niya at the age of 52. 31 years of adversity. Can you do it? But to Lincoln, defeat was a detour and not a dead end. As long as you live, you keep on fighting. Colonel Sanders, do you know Colonel Sanders? The, uh, kilalang kilala niya, the pillar KFC, the owner of KFC. At the age of 65, with a beat up car and a $100 check from Social Security, he realized he had to do something. He remembered his mom, mother's recipe, went out selling. How many doors did he, have, did he have to knock on before he got his first order? It is estimated that he had knocked on more than a thousand doors before he got his first order. Wow! Thousand doors. Gano na ba yung nakausap nyo? <laughs> Marami na ba kayo nakausap? I remember there was a person na sabi niya sa akin dati, Sir, nagpe-present lang ako araw-araw. Sabi ko, uh, sabi ko, ilan na ba nagpe-presenta ka mo? Ang dami na. Pero hindi ako titigil. Kahit 999 pa yan. Kahit 999 times na ako nagpe-present, hindi ako titigil. Bakit? Naniniwala ako na yung, tag, yung 1,000, yung ikaw 1,000 yun na magjo-join. Wow! Imagine, kaya niyo ba yun? 900, 1,000 person na kakausapin mo, wala magjo-join. Pero hindi ka titigil. Kasi yung palang ikaw 1,000, yung pala ang magjo-join. So how many of us quit after three tries, ten tries, hundred tries, and then we say we tried as hard as we could? As a young cartoonist, Walt Disney faced many rejections from newspaper editors who said he had no talent. One day, a minister at a church hired him to draw some cartoons. Disney, okay, was working. So Disney was working out on a small mouse infested for the church. After seeing a small mouse, he was inspired. That was the start of Mickey Mouse. So successful people don't do great things. They only do small things in a great way. So don't ever, kumbaga, wag nyo mamaliitin, wag nyo mamaliitin yung mga ginagawa nyo every day. Because that small things can lead you to a breakthrough. One day, a partially deaf four-year-old kid came home with a note in his pocket from his teacher. Your Tommy is too stupid to learn. Get him out of the school. His mother read the note and answered, My Tommy is not stupid to learn. I will teach him myself. And that Tommy grew up with the great Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison has only three months of former, former, former schooling. And he was partially deaf. Eh kung wala si Thomas Edison, eh di wala tayong ilaw ngayon. Di ba? Henry Ford forgot to put the reverse gear in the first car he made. Imagine yun, walang, walang reverse gear. Do you consider him failure? They succeeded in spite of problems, not in the absence of them. So there will always be problems in the midst of success. Not to the outside world appears as though they just got lucky. So please remember, and always remember, all success stories are stories of great failure. Did you hear that? The only difference is that every time they fail, they bounce back. Every time they fail, they keep moving. Every time they fail, they keep running. They never stop until they hit their success. This is called failing forward rather than backward. You learn and move forward, learn from failure, and keep on moving. In 1914, Thomas Edison, at the age of 67, lost his factory, which was worth a few million dollars to par. Imagine, pa siya. It had very little insurance, no longer a young man. Edison watched his lifetime effort go up in smoke. There is a great value in disaster. All our mistakes are burnt up. Thank God 
we can always start anew. In spite of the disaster, three weeks later, Thomas Edison invented the phonograph. What an attitude. Imagine, how many setbacks have you experienced in life? Gano na ba kami ang failures mo? Sobra na ba talagang dami? Enough for you to stop moving forward? So marami pa yung example. Below are more example. So Thomas Edison, do you know that failed approximately 10 times while he was working on the light bulb? 10,000 times. 10,000 times na trial and error bago niya nabuo ang light bulb. E eh, kung tumigil siya dun sa 9,999, how would you imagine na it was truly dark? Henry Ford was broke at the age of 40. Lee Iacocca was fired by Henry Ford at the age of 54. Young Beethoven was told that he had no talent for music, but he gave some of the best music to the world. Setbacks are inevitable, inevitable in life. A setback can act as a driving force, also can teach us humility. In grit, you will face and pay to overcome the setback. We need to learn to become visitors, not victims. Fear and doubt short circuit the mind. Ask yourself after every setback, what did I learn from this experience? Only then you will be able to turn a stumbling block into a stepping stone. You see, even personally from the experience, we've been through that. We have been through a lot of setbacks. We have been through a lot of failures. We have been through a lot of opposition. But the most important thing is we keep fighting forward and we keep moving forward. You see, if you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you, if you like to win, but think you cannot, it's almost as if you won't. You think you lose, then you're lost. For out of the world, we find success begins as a fellow, fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You got to think how to rise. You, you got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's a battle don't always go. Okay, so welcome to human race. That's life. Okay. Okay, so let's for a while. Let's move forward. Okay, so let's continue. So let battle don't always go. Tugger and faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Okay, so did you learn something from that? So I hope that you are learning from all of our uh, nightly mentoring. I hope that it helps you, especially in accomplishing great goals. I promise you, nobody can stop any person from achieving great goals in life. It's really up to you. Your success is not dependent by your situation. Your success is not dependent by the people around you. Your success is determined in your willingness to run and fight the battle. Will you do it? That's why if you are a person right now is watching and you are in that 90-day challenge goal, just keep running. Just keep attending this mentoring. I promise you, you are going to hit your goal. It's a sure thing. No matter what your situation in life, it's a sure thing that you are going to achieve your goals in life. So thank you so much and keep on listening to our 1088 program afterwards. Keep, uh, keep on uh, learning this evening.